Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Um, I forgot to check out my team situation with, with Switcher, and so uh, you're lucky. Um, this is, was meant just for my team, but you'll get a little sneak peek. This is going to be their challenge for this week, the scrappy strip technique. And so um, I'm going to be using it with some beautiful paper and uh, just showing them the technique in case they didn't know this, this great idea for using up scraps of paper. All right, so... When you pop on, say hello, tell me where you're from. Um, let me, give me some hearts if you have done the scrappy strip technique. I know it was really popular probably about a year ago and uh, it's kind of, um, it started from Bruno Bertucci, Kylie Bertucci's husband created a card using this technique and it kind of just took off. And so I have a lot of new team members and so I'm excited to show them um, this technique. Uh, hi Mary Ellen, have you done this technique before? It's lots of fun, I think it's fun. All right, so, hi Holly. I bet you've done the scrappy strip technique, haven't you? All right, so hopefully the internet is going to uh, cooperate here. Oh, I see some, hang on. Let's see if I can change something. No. All right. Hopefully it's going to, you know, cooperate. You don't think so? Okay. Well, I'm excited to share it with you then. So I'm going to be using this beautiful designer, designer series paper and it's called Blackberry Beauty. It's on page 45 at the bottom. Um, you can buy it as an entire suite, Blackberry Beauty, which comes with the stamp set and dies. This beautiful gold glimmer, uh, gold shimmer. Nope gold shimmer vellum which is really pretty you can get all sorts of fancy little doodads I don't even know how to say that em ephemera pack Eph ephemera I don't know <laughs> hi Linda so I don't know what that's called and then the gold ribbon along with this beautiful DSP for one single price or you can order these pieces individually like I did um, this stamp set I'm not in <laughs> I don't know I guess I saw the owls on this DSP and I just kind of thought I'm not an owl person <laughs> but I know there are lots out there so I know they'll be loving this stamp set but I did love the color combinations of this DSP and so I had to have that I also got this beautiful gold shimmer vellum to play around with so we're gonna make a strappy sc a scrappy <laughs> strip card out of this DSP here all right, moving on. So the card base we're gonna use is uh, the typical one, eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half like a book. I'm just gonna get my little own folder, well used, well loved, as you can see. And then I have a layer here of, two layers of Blackberry Bliss. One's just a hair bigger. Oh, good, Holly's tried this before. And Linda's done this before too, awesome. All right, so one is going to be just a hair bigger than the other one. So this one's measuring three and three quarters by five. This one is measuring three and five eighths by four, whoops, this way, by four and seven eighths. Tiny hair. All right, so I'm gonna take the smaller one, that's the one gonna be the one that I'm attaching the scrappy strips to. So far I've cut up a little bit of the DSP into some strips. I had little one inch strips um, left after working on my team cards. So every month my team members get a card from me, which I love doing. Hi Peggy, hi Donna, good morning. And so what I did was I kind of cut it a little bit on an angle. So you don't want them straight necessarily, you kind of want them different sizes, different angles and whatnot, because that just kind of makes the fun of the scrappy strip. Um, okay, so I have 12 by 12 paper here, but um, you can kind of use whatever size you want. 
All right, so I'm gonna get started here. I'm gonna use some liquid glue for this. So on the back side, I'm just gonna put some of that liquid glue and I'm just going to lay these strips. They're gonna hang off and that's what you want. So a little is gonna hang off here, a little is gonna hang off here, and then I'll just cut a little piece off there. So there's our first strip onto our smaller Blackberry Bliss piece. All right, so next, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love this paper with the gold in it. It's so pretty. All right, once again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue along the back there and I'm lining. I'm going to leave just a little wee space between the first strip and the second strip. Just so you can see a little bit of the Blackberry Bliss showing through. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to chop off this. And so I'm always going to kind of work. If I always slant um, the items to one direction, it's going to get a little curvy. So I like to kind of see this one was kind of angling this way. So I kind of did one to angle this way to try and keep things a little bit straight, if you will. All right, what other designs do we have here? We have this beautiful cinnamon cider piece. Let's go with a small one again, just to kind of change it up a little. This is such a great technique for um, using up your scraps. I don't know if you tend to cut the um, designer series paper with the big 12 by 12s, um, at four, four by five and a quarter, you know, inch, you have all these little scraps down along the bottom, which you can kind of trim up and put onto your, this technique. All right, let's put one of these here. And it doesn't take long. Oh, let's go this direction just to keep it kind of centering. Kind of trying to make it straight. So that hopefully you can see, start seeing here. They're, these are such similar colors to Black Ray Bliss, so it's a little hard to see. But when you, this one really shows it through. The little space in between. Hi, Amy. We're just doing the scrappy strip technique, Amy. I haven't done it in so long, and this paper, I had a little paper left over from working on my team cards. And so I thought, oh, let's show them how to do this because I have a lot of new team members and it's such a great technique. We had our first Zoom party last night. So um, we had some, just we just got together on Zoom and chit chatted for a while. It was great to see everybody's crafting space and uh, see every, see, you know, where they, where they work and chit chat and, talk about life working on all on all working on our own projects Lisa Lisa was there last night good morning Lisa have you done the scrappy strip technique Lisa such a great one for scraps all right and what else should we do I guess I'll just go do a pattern <laughs> paper so pretty so one side of the paper has gold um, accents I guess and the other side of the paper is kind of a more matte look to it which makes it really kind of fun and one of these this is a skinny strip to be a skinny strip one day. <laughs> oh, I just turned 47 and I'm thinking like, I wonder if in three years I could be, you know, skinny. If I really worked hard to be, you know, skinny by 50. <laughs> Probably not. All right, let's go with this one. The pinks. What a weird, a different color, uh, weird, I was going to say weird. You heard me say, almost say weird. A different color combo to add the polished pink in with this color combo. I 
never would have thought of that, ever. I think it's, oh, Stampin' Up! is so smart. Do, do, do. Nope, I'm just gonna use the, where's the, oh, I don't have any more of, well, use a little strip of this. Cutter. Not really? Oh, well. So just little leftover pieces, just kind of put them on an angle. And don't see, so you don't want them all even, otherwise, I mean, they can be, but it just looks kind of more fun. Oh, I should have made that wider. Because now I'm going to have that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's okay. Bring that there. And then let's flip this over and use this yellow side for our last little piece. I'm probably going to get glue everywhere, but that's all okay. Thankfully, glue drives clear. <laughs> oh, thank you, Colette. It's been a struggle since I was seven. Does anyone remember Charlene Prickett? <laughs> Way back when. She was a, a, an exercise lady who would... Uh, do her exercises on TV and I remember being seven and in the summer I would do her exercise program because at seven years old I knew I was bigger than everybody else and I didn't want to be so this has been a lifelong issue for me and probably all of the dieting and the you know trying to lose weight has definitely messed up my metabolism, which makes it even harder to lose weight, along with my polycystic ovarian syndrome. That oh goodness, you have to have to at least um, have uh, 500 less calories than the normal person to lose weight per day. So it's tricky. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to cut this section off. So as you can see, I just turned it over and then I know exactly where to cut it off. I know I've seen people just use their trimmer. They just, you know, trim along there and then um, that's it. All right, so this little bigger, this bigger, little bigger piece. This bigger piece is just going to go behind as a little mat because as you can see, there's no, there are nice gaps in between these strips. But then if I was just to lay it down on the card base, uh, it's not really matted around the outside. So this way, when we add this on, it just kind of looks complete. Is that neat? All right, so let's glue this on. And now we've got to think of a sentiment to put on here. There we go. All right. Um, what I was thinking is I have some cork left over. Love it. If you have not got this cork, you've got to put this on your list. <laughs> this stuff is incredible. I think I'm going to use my postage stamp punch. Hello, Sandy and put, oh, need a little trimmy trim here. I actually put the, I remember, <laughs> the uh, adhesive strips on here to help my little card class folks out tomorrow night. Um, so then when you take this off, it's going to be like a sticker. I think I want to do more things here. Just hang on. I like, let's use some of that gold shimmer vellum, which is so pretty. Let's put some of that, and then maybe we'll put this little piece of cork because it's all kind of rustic and uh, fallish. And then we can put a sentiment. I was thinking about a sentiment 
from here. I haven't really used this stamp set a whole lot. Each day is a little brighter. Not in the fall, I suppose. <laughs> You're in my thoughts with heartfelt thanks. I love this um, font. In a world where you can be anything, thank you for being kind. You're the best because of you. And just a note to let you know that someone thought of you today. Isn't that nice? I just think it's a, they're beautiful sayings. Hi, Norma Jean, good morning. Yes, I just popped on, I wasn't supposed to. This is actually just supposed to be for my team members, but I forgot to check out why my, ooh, why my switcher is not working for my team page. So, so now everybody gets to watch. All right, so how about some Rich Razzleberry? I was thinking about the, the polished pink because it's such a, a bizarre color that they've introduced in here, but it looks so pretty. But I, mm, with the cinnamon cider, I don't know. But I think Rich Razzleberry is a little bit, you know, similar to the Blackberry Bliss, but it's just a little bit lighter. Let's go with that. Now, I would love to stamp this in gold. However, do you remember last time I used up all my gold? And I believe it's coming today. So, um, hmm. what other colors could we use? I don't want to use silver because that's well, maybe I have just a tad. We could do it. Let's do it. Hopefully it'll work. Um, let's do with heartfelt thanks. I love this one though. Maybe we could stamp that in the inside. I think that's pretty. I haven't even put, I haven't, see? I haven't even opened this. You love the cork? Yeah, I love it. Okay, what was I gonna write? That, with heartfelt thanks. Let's see, there we go. Let me find a little block here. Ooh, that one might be too small. The little guy, I'm gonna need some Versamark. That's the super sticky ink that's clear. It allows that um, embossing powder to stick. So you can heat it up. All right, let's get out this scrap of cardstock. Stamping on there with the verse mark. Now I'm going to go in my little tray. This is not a Stampin' Up thing. This actually came from the dollar store years ago. <laughs> can you stamp in ink and clear embossing over it? Yes. Yes, you can. Hmm. We could try that too. We'll do both just to see what, what it looks like. That's a great idea. Oh, my Lanta. Now, why Stampin' Up but got rid of the embossing buddy? I don't know. Ooh, that's just not gonna look nice. Okay, hang on. I'm going to use one. If you can snag one somewhere, snag it. <laughs> Or if you can find a recipe to make your own, they're great because you can kind of just get all the static off your paper or any oils that might be from your hands. If you don't want the extra ink to stick. All right, let's try this again. And then we'll try that great idea that, that Sandy mentioned. That is it, man. Whew, good to the last drop. It knew I needed just a tad left. <laughs> All right, now my heat tool. I see the cord, there we go. All right, heat this up. Yes. Yes, Sandy, I am. I 
I just, Sandy, I just need to find somewhere that doesn't require my kidney or my firstborn. Um, or, uh, and somewhere that we can kind of spread out a little more because of social distancing, just to make sure everything's up to par. All right, so what Sandy was saying is if you, if you stamp in an ink color instead of the Versamark ink and put clear embossing over top of it, it kind of sets it in. No, yes I do, I do have it. Kind of sets that certain color in, in sets, look, okay, and just makes it a little bit shiny, let's put it that way. Um, you have to work quickly though. So let me get everything ready. This is the clear embossing, ready to go in there. All right, here's my blackberry. I'll do a little bit darker than the rich razzleberry and hopefully that will be all right. Let's go here. I should probably use my embossing buddy. All right, so now I'm gonna take this, put the clear over top and as you can see, it's covered, covered that ink. Just need to get rid of some of this excess. It's good to have a little paintbrush around. Get rid of all that. So basically you can make, because of this clear embossing, you can make any color of embossing that you want. Ooh, I like that. All right, so can you see? So it's basically done the Blackberry Bliss ink, but made it a little bit shiny. I can't get the shine on it to go on the camera, but I like it. Neat, hey? Thanks for the idea. I totally forgot about that, Sandy. Great, great, great. So like I say, you can stamp this in any color, put clear ink over top of it, and it is shiny. Okay. Let's cut these out. I think I'm just gonna use scissors just to make kind of a little rectangle shape, probably with a Lisa Harden cut. I call it Elisa Harden cut. She um, kind of trims the edges on an angle. I really don't know what, what the technical term is, but I saw her do this and I so I've since called it the Lisa Harden cut. All right, so there's the dark one and then let's go, I'll show you what the gold one looks like and then we'll do a little vote here as to which one we should use. a little more here yes and Sandy I think it's gonna be uh, it'll be Christmas cards <laughs> hopefully that works all right so let's go back to our card we did the scrappy strip technique if you just joined and with this beautiful paper part of that suite is the gold shimmer vellum which is really pretty and then I did a little piece of cork just because I like the rustic nature of it um, here is the gold. Oh, come on. My fingers are <laughs> sticky. There's the gold. And there's the Blackberry Bliss. What do you think? Can you type in gold or, or BB, we'll say, uh, for which your preference would be for me to put on there? <clears throat> While you do that, I'm going to grab a drink. Even put both gold or blackberry BB blackberry bliss what do you think gold gold let me get out some bling gold oh gold all the way around all right gold it is 
Now I really like these brushed metallic adhesive back dots. If you don't have these, they go so well. No, I, oh, don't worry. I'm glad you shared that, Sandy. That was a good reminder that we can do that in every single color. I love it. Okay, so let's put this little piece together here. I think I'm going to... Hmm. You could always stamp around the outside in a different pattern or whatnot. Um, that's always a fun idea to do. But I am just going to glue this on. To the cinnamon cider. I always looked at cinnamon cider and I'm like, what am I gonna use that on? <laughs> but it goes so nicely with this purple, with rich raspberry, and I know um, on the Christmas cards we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using cinnamon cider as well. So it, uh oh, thought I'd put that on upside down. Okay, now, since it's vellum, you gotta be kind of thoughtful as to where you're placing your glue. You can use stamp and seal as well. Um, just because it's going to show, ooh, that's pretty good. It doesn't really show through a whole ton there. I'm shocked. <laughs> But that's kind of where I'm going to place this piece of cork. Now, as I was saying earlier, I actually put on the adhesive sheets on the back of this paper because for my first card class since COVID, tomorrow we have some little skinny bits we're gonna be uh, putting on to our card. And so I, I thought, oh, I better be nice so they come back. <laughs> so, they're getting their little skinny bits with uh, adhesive on the back just so that uh, it makes it easier to glue down. All right, I'm almost wondering about the linen thread. God, I had things, right? Sandy helped me with this two years back. I'm gonna run a little strip of snail there. I'm going to wrap this linen thread. It's one of my go-tos for sure. Uh, like that. It just kind of goes with everything and it, it's subtle. It, it uh, You can color it with your Stampin' Blends. I just want a little something behind. All right, uh, I'm just going to tuck these little ends in. Just stab them onto that glue. Okay. Now, let's pop this up with our dimensionals and that'll also help hold down those little pieces of twine. There's one, and there's one. All right, let's place that onto there. Hopefully it's pretty straight, yes. And then, let's get out our gold bits here. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, so pretty. Oh, I love it. This card is gorgeous with this paper. This DSP, it didn't come across beautiful. I agree. And the, you know what, the only reason I bought it was, can't say. I think I gave something away. <laughs> Anyways, I only bought it for a certain reason. And then I got playing with it yesterday and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is beautiful paper. And so, yeah, when you have all your little leftover scraps, it looks pretty nice. And that, that gold shimmer vellum. I know the camera won't pick it up. Oh, there we go. Neat, gorgeous. All right, so that is the scrappy strip technique. If any of this, these items that I played with today interest you and you want to get some for yourself, contact me and I can help you out with that. Um, otherwise, um, if you want, you can always uh, post some pictures of strappy strip, scrappy strip <laughs> cards that you make this week and post some pictures in there and we will maybe do a draw, which reminds me, um, I will come back on here. We're going to be doing the Mail It Out Monday draw. I'm also going to be picking a sharing si Sunday winner. 
And last week I did a video and um, it was with the baby wipe reinker technique. And so I said, okay, so if somebody comments and likes, comments and shares, I believe it was, uh, on the video, they'll be entered in to win one of those cards. So I'm very excited to give one of those away. All right, everyone. It was great to craft along with you today. I'm so excited that I got to see you all and uh, just re uh, bring out, I don't know, this technique that we used to play with so often. And uh, just a good reminder there that it's a beautiful technique to use. All right. Have a great week and I will see you back here very soon to get some winners for all of those fun contests that we did throughout the week. All right. Bye everyone.